Hey guys, so Tara here, and I wanted to take a second to give you a refrigerator tour. Uh, we like to kind of keep things organized in our fridge. Uh, that's always the ideal. Let's be clear here, my fridge does not always look like what you're gonna see, right? Sometimes it's better, sometimes it's a lot worse. But what I find is, when it's a lot worse, I don't know what I have, and I waste a lot of money. So my fridge was actually really bad recently, and what happened was, I bought a lot of double this week at the grocery store, so let me pop in there. Really fast, check this out. I got this for like three bucks at Target in that front like bargain section. And I just write the month and then I write the dates and any events that are coming up for a family to kind of communicate. Everyone can see it because they're opening the fridge. And I just like this format. And then I just erase it every day when I'm getting my morning water and medicine. I just erase the previous day. And then grocery things, I can just quickly scribble here. Okay, ready? Ready. Quit talking, Tara. Start showing me your fridge. All right, so what happened was, since our fridge was totally thrashed, I bought double milk. <laughs> so I now have three gallons of milk. Oh my goodness. I don't drink milk. There's only two family members who drink milk. Uh, and then there's, I got way too much eggs. We go through like one thing of eggs, like one a month, maybe. Now I've got two dozen eggs. So I gotta figure something out. And then some sprouted bread. Trader Joe's has the best sprouted bread, you guys. It's delicious. I get the raisin one. I like the texture. <laughs> I have to show you something in just a second. Just a second. It'll be a treat. Here we go. You ready? Let's see it. <laughs> That's what's watching me right now. <laughs> How can you take me seriously? Okay. Next shelf. These is like right in sight. I'm short, so this is like right in sight for me. These are strawberries right there big thing of strawberries and then tomatoes I eat tomatoes as my snack all the time it's my favorite snack because it's sweet it's healthy it's giving me my vegetable serving I fly through these things so I keep them right there a big batch of soup what I like to do is I'll make a big batch and then I'm actually gonna refrigerate your refrigerator for a little bit see if our family picks at it and then if we don't I'm gonna freeze it in a freezer bag lay it flat in the freezer until it freezes and then I'll put it in my freezer and check out my YouTube channel for my freezer organization video. So, or go to fitbabysteps.com and type in uh, freezer in the search engine there. You'll see how I organize my freezer. It's like a filing cabinet. It's awesome. Okay, next up is this drawer here. This drawer is the messiest drawer. How do you, if you have tips on organizing your cheese drawer, tell me because mine always looks terrible. It's like little bags everywhere. But here's some of my cheeses and whole grain wraps. The other day, I totally wanted fast food. I was craving it, right? On a call, it would have been so easy. I had some leftover grilled chicken in the house. I grabbed one of these wraps, stuffed it with some lettuce, salsa, some chicken, added a little taco seasoning, and boom, had a good meal. It's always nice to have those on hand. All right, next up, I keep this stash of yogurts at kid height because if they ever need a snack, it's so nice to give them a healthier option than what they usually want, <laughs> which is a bunch of crap. All right, this is my crisper drawer. Now, here's the thing. I don't believe in having a crisper drawer where your vegetables go a lot because you forget about them. And then it's like vegetable soup drawer. You know what I'm talking about. But this is what I do. Because I'm into, we do a salad at night. And I'm, I'm actually, I have it kind of like a filing cabinet. This is earmarked for a meal later this week. And tomorrow in the kitchen, I'm going to be making a mixed greens, like arugula salad and have it all prepped and ready to go minus the dressing and it's actually gonna be up here on the shelf because I wanna just grab it throughout the week. I recommend having a big salad right in your fridge that you can just grab, okay? And uh, for those of you who are, you know, this video I'm kinda doing for multiple people. <laughs> those of you who are in my free group for this month, you're gonna see I'm making, this week I'm gonna be making a lot of salads on our meal plan. For those of you in the 21 day group who are watching this, I'm gonna be adding what I'm doing now to our meal plan so you'll be getting this as well as so you'll be seeing that and uh those of you who are on my channel you should join one of our groups you can get these meal plans you can get a lot of these salads so i'm going to be working on that tomorrow prepping a couple of those baby carrots i always keep a supply of baby carrots my daughter and my favorite snack besides tomatoes uh i grab those a lot bottom drawer i'll be honest see this is a little cabbage it's probably going to be cabbage soup because i forgot it was here so I, I don't always follow my word, <laughs> but I've got celery, which we use a lot. And what we actually do in our house, we have what's called soup celery. So you know the inside of celery, a lot of people forget about, that's the best part. We cut it up and put it in soup. So it's in that soup up there. 
So save it. If you uh, if it goes bad, freeze it because it's great in soups. It's so good. To, it adds some great flavor. And then, so not much goes here. I'm going to put apples here. I'm still not done unloading the groceries. I have one more thing for the fridge. So that's good. And then over here, we don't keep a lot, and it kind of could use some remodeling. We don't keep a lot of condiments. I mean, that's for my kids, but I recommend don't have bottled salad dressings. They're so full of sugar and preservatives, not very good for you. Uh, there's not a lot. Even I have like an empty thing here. Uh, but just, you know, keep those little things that fall over on the door. So that is my freezer organization. And I want to see yours. I geek out on this stuff. So show me yours. Even if it sucks, we can like brainstorm. Or show me a before and after. Ooh, I love before and after, so share me that. Um, and just tell me kind of like what you do, especially summer's coming up. I would love some tips on like easy snacks because my kids are going to get really sick of yogurt really fast. It'd be cool to have a variety, right? So anyway, those are my tips. Don't forget that if you want my freezer organization, that's a whole other thing. And then tomorrow I will be sharing a video with you guys. I will be in the kitchen prepping the food for the free five day healthy eating challenge. And I'll kind of show you what I'm what I've done, how I'm prepped for the week and get ready to go. Okay, we are off to clean our house. So exciting for the rest of the afternoon. I'm gonna finish unloading these groceries, but I would love to hear from you guys. Take care.